I am Jeff LaCroix. I was born and raised in Louisiana. Hey, let me get a beer out of here. Huh? No. Get, that's my beer. Let me get, I'm, that's dude, my beer. Move your foot. Move my foot. I'm going to break the ice if you don't move your foot. Heather is my wife, and when it comes to females, she's a little bit different than most. She's a tall, blonde-headed southern girl that likes to get out and blow things up, shoot guns, go out fishing, do all the crazy stuff with the guys. Uh, being married to Heather can be pretty exciting. I, that ain't about the time you build a fire. Fire? Yeah. It ain't even like 72 degrees today. It's, it's 72, like, it's like 82 degrees, buddy. My family pretty much all lives on the same road. When I say that, I mean we're like 400 yards from one another or something like that. So we see each other quite a bit. You gotta be out here to drink beer, you gotta be out here by a park. It's a smoke. You know, it was a perfect Sunday evening and I'm sitting out enjoying my Sunday and drinking my beer. Last fire of the year. Last fire of the year. Last fire of the year. If we're gonna do it, buddy, do it now. 82 yeah. degrees, buddy, build a fire. Just said build a fire. It's time to build a fire. <laughs> Where's Gerald at anyway before I start talking about him? I don't want to say nothing to make him mad, you know? <laughs> Gerald is my stepdad. He's been in my life since I was like 13 years old. He's got his own ways though. The one thing you gotta keep in mind with Gerald is he's from the old school, you know? So, I mean, he's got that old hard nose. Yeah. You remember that, Gerald? Whenever you, uh, I was pregnant with my first child, and you was like, Heather, if you're tired of being all fat and bloated, uh, I'm going to show you how to have that kid. You go on out there and split that wood. You remember that? Well, my memory was you came to me <laughs> and asked me, how can I, I'm tired of carrying it. <laughs> carrying whatever it was you was tired of. Whatever it was. So I said, best way I know how to do and I was taught in the old days was manual labor. Well, it was firewood season. So I had firewood to split. Well, I put you on it. He's going to give you advice. You might not always want to follow that advice. I can't help myself. I'm an old construction worker and I'm hard nosed might not be a good idea to live by Gerald's words of wisdom in today's society. Yes, I got out there and I was splitting the wood. I was splitting wood. You were splitting wood that day because I was coaching you. Yeah, but I not... showed you where to hit with my finger. I didn't want you, you didn't over. Hold... I didn't want you to over exert and die. Next day she had a kid. Yeah, next day I was like at the hospital in labor, so I appreciate that whole getting the kid out of me and I was tired of carrying a kid, I guess. But I want to make it clear, you the one said you was ready. I don't remember that. Don't Gerald. blame me. My memory has went foggy because I don't I know, y'all don't remember, y'all always blame me. I, I think I recall your fat ass needs to come out here and split some wood and uh no and you come out in the yard i was splitting wood you come interrupted me interrupted you interrupted me while i was splitting wood i was in wood splitting mode and when times get tough girl's advice is something like well son my daddy always told me beer can't fix everything but it can make it a whole lot damn easier to deal with come on let's see it robbie oh Oh, look at oh. it's like that wood got scared and just fell apart to get away from me. Robbie is my younger brother. He's a couple years younger than me. Uh, we grew up doing some really crazy stuff. I'm just going to put him in the boat and sit down on him. We're going to keep him alive, whatever it is. There you oh, go. get him, Robbie! Oh, you got to be faster than that. Out there getting it, old country boys, you know, out in the woods. Oh, God, oh, God. dog, nice! Oh. Yay! Robbie, but Junior's moving. <laughs> I want to run. What you got? Uh, oh, my word. Woo, oh. Hold up. Hold up. Hey, look. <laughs> Hell, we used to play a little music together from time to time. We played that heavy metal stuff. Drove Gerald nuts. Ah, <laughs> uh, I am Robbie LaCroix, and I live out in the sticks. Uh-oh, Robbie. Uh -oh. Uh, that's how you do it. 
that's how you do it. I'm like Paul Bunyan when it comes to splitting wood. I mean, I'm all over it. Oh, I like the Energizer Bunny. Give me some more. Give me some more. Yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> I'm like the Darth Vader of the wood chopping world. I have the force. Man, I was like the hook. I was like, Robbie, chop wood. Oh. Come on, son. Amy. Put him back into it. I mean, he got up there and he's all going to show up. Uh. Uh. That's Robbie. Uh, uh. I got big wood and I can whittle it down. Oh. Come on! Oh. Dude, you hit the same hit the spot. spot you gotta hit the same spot twice. No, man, you hit three different spots. I'm like the Forrest Gump of the wood chopping world. Chop, Robbie, chop! He ain't bust a piece off yet. Woo! Holy oh, oh, shit! shit. Like a lost of foot. He ain't like a lost of foot. I can chop the big wood. <laughs> hey, quiet, Jack. I couldn't tell which one the wood split maw or Robbie. You stand them both up and turn the head up on the wood split maw, it looks just like Robbie put a little hair on. And that damn Robbie the whole time, Gerald unconned me into helping him cut the wood up and stuff. Robbie's over there texting on his phone. Must be some girlfriend of his or something. He's over there cut, you know, because he is the ladies' man. He's going over green and. Robbie's in his in Robbie, text. Get off the phone. Okay. I can't help it. I'm popular. <laughs> help like I'm, I'm, like, I'm like this on my phone. <laughs> Look, Robbie got one of them old phones though. He still got you know you got to punch the key like three times for one letter. You know, he don't have the full keyboard. He. <laughs> Alright, let's see this. Uh, Coco, you, you in the danger zone. I got up there to chop the wood, you know, to show the guys up. Oh, Come on, put some I, back I in think it. This one's got a knot in it. But I seen Heather get up there doing flip flops. I said, she's gonna chop her damn foot in two. It ain't got no knot in there. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Don't wear flip flops while you're chopping wood. I done hurt my foot and my finger. Oh, no, 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 I don't enter. I take it back. No, hey, look, no. Robbie might not be able to split wood, but he didn't hurt Woo. himself. That hurt, didn't it? Where did it hit you? There, busted, and <laughs> don't chop wood and flip flop. <laughs> she ain't chopped wood in two years. They think, they think, how this wood, I've been burning wood for two years and they ain't chopped a bit. This is the first time they chopped wood in two years. Somebody's gonna cut their foot and do. Now keep on, y'all do a fine job. Hey! Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh. Hey, I don't like my wood that little. You don't like it that little? Give <laughs> <laughs> me like two picks when I get done with it. Two picks. Love it. Huh? Gerald said he don't like his wood that little. Damn! I do not like big wood. Yep, like big, yeah, like big wood. That, that was a misunderstanding. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I do not like big wood. Yep, yeah, like go. big wood. This is Jeff technique. Oh! oh I heard her crack. Oh. 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 That didn't work. That didn't work. Oh. You gave me one with a knot in it. What's that? Yeah, you got a big old knot in it right there. Right there. Let me tell you. When Jeff got up there to chop his firewood, that is the most manual labor that man's had in years. Well, sad he gonna be crying tonight. Oh, my oh, that's back. The, that's the most work he's done in two years. My back hurts. That's the most work he's done in two years, right there. My arm hurts. I thought I was gonna have to call 911. I was gonna have to give him mouth to mouth. That kicking on the chest, what I was gonna do him mouth to mouth. If, it don't, if I don't hot solve you, you on your own now. You gonna flop over a heart attack. Oh, it does. This thing got a knot. Uh, let me have it. I'll get it open. He's actually gonna uh, break a sweat. <laughs> We're sitting out here on a fine Sunday afternoon, enjoying a beer or tea. How in the hell did it turn into me chopping wood? Oh. Damn, y'all waste too much damn yeah. energy. I don't he know might. what y'all all ran back for. He might be 80 years old, but he still got some muscle he on him. Oh, got one now. Oh. 
I'm old, but I can still split my own wood, don't get me wrong. But I'd much rather sit back and watch somebody else do it, because that's a lot more down funner to me than it is anything. Get it all up that way. You got a quarter of stuff. Jeff can't breathe. What the hell is Robbie doing? Ow. Go ahead, oh. buddy. Huh? Oh, he's got him. Heather wants me to do this part again because it involves her. I thought Heather did the best at the wood splitting competition, and I'm only saying that because she just sat right over there and told me to say it, and I gotta go home with her tonight. So, Amen, Heather, brother. Heather was the best. <laughs> <laughs>